Hello, everybody, and welcome back for this third session on the Affirming Action Symposium. I am Raquel Garin, and together with Hippolyta Barnato and, of course, Professor Paolo Tombesi, we will be moderating this uh, conversation between two architects. Uh, on one side, we have Hannah Robertson from Australia, and then we have Xu Tianqiang from China. Xu Tianqian, on her side, founded Studio DNA, meaning Design and Architecture, in Beijing in 2004, which was originally intended to be an experimental practice addressing the country's contemporary living environment, both physical and social. DNA has eventually gained a strong reputation for its architectural engagement with China's rural revitalization strategy especially in the Zhejiang province. Through some minimal design interventions, DNA has been testing methods to address long-term issues, both in the social, cultural, and also economic balancing of territories, seeking to rebuild a rural self-confidence. Thank you all for coming today. Um, I would like to talk about architecture as acupuncture, a healing treatment targeting rural and village symptoms. Before I start, I just want to point out that, that we still have, uh, there is still half population living in the rural regions in both China and worldwide. So basically a Chinese traditional village is a large family clan with centuries of um, history, tradition, cultural and agricultural heritage. And very often the only public space in a village is the ancestors hall um, to accommodate multifunctional public events. These villages are not only lacking public facilities, but also losing the population and uh, the confidence in their future. Since 2014, we've been uh, collaborating with Songyang County, a typical small agricultural county in China. It has um, 240,000 population and only 50,000 are in the county urban center. Um, with a minimal intervention approach, a new public program is introduced to each village and rural site tailored to the context and heritage to restore the village identity, also to create a new circulation and interaction between the villages and the county urban center. With limited amount of budget, the acupuncture is a rather sustainable and systematic strategy that can apply to other rural regions. For example, a, a mountain village like uh, Shizang is a Hakka minority village. Hakka means the guest people who relocated to this region and settled down with its rich Hakka culture and indenture system, which is the legal foundation of Hakka society. A new Hakka indenture museum is built along the mountain by local stone construction as the retaining walls, um, also the background for the village. This project became the opportunity to restore a long lost um, masonry building technique, um, which helps to create the archeological space and atmosphere. A rural museum engages easy maintenance, um, adapt to flexible functions, similar to the original public space, um, the ancestors hall in every village. This new museum has also inspired an investor from Shanghai city to renovate the adjacent cluster of um, vacant farmers houses into a village homestay business, which um, bring in um, provides uh, new jobs and new income. Um, and I want to point out that the, the, the rural tourism isn't the the conventional type of tourism on, on the beach or in the resort, it's rather cultural and educational. For a flatland village like Wang village, which is the most glorious and uh, prosperous village back in the ancient time, um, 
this ancient village is surrounded by modern factories and chimneys since the early um, 90s, um, when this area is rezoned as industrial district. But you can still identify the pride and honor when talking with the villagers about the village history, especially the ancestor Wang Jing, who used to be the imperial scholar from Ming Dynasty 700 years ago. And he's also one of the three most important historical figures in the region. In this case, um, this has inspired a new memorial hall dedicated to Wang Jing in the center of the village. The building is uh, composed by concrete structural corners and um, ramped earth walls to merge with its surroundings and the uh, village fabric. And the interior is articulated into a stage setting by turning the structural corners into memorial corners. Um, each uh, memorial corner is applied with stone, local stone carving and sculpting technique, which is produced by one of the factories around the village. Um, each one is a dedicated to a specific phase of uh, ancestor Wang Jing's life. This memorial hall is to restore the pride and honor for an ancient village. Um, it is a open public space as well as a spiritual temple that uh, continues to motivate um, the village communities to renovate the adjacent uh, traditional houses and uh, road pavement, as well as to set up the um, new cultural programs and uh, tourism business. Another flatland village, Xing village has the best, um, has, uh, it's well known for its um, brown sugar production, which becomes the key element to introduce and to restore the village um, cultural identity and, um, and heritage. The traditional brown sugar um, is produced um, by individual family workshops, which is a striking performance, but also caused um, um, critical issues, for example, the sanitary and fire risks, uh, as well as interruption to the village's life. This new uh, brown sugar factory is built away from the village and is operated by a new villager union to integrate current family workshops into a collective or co-op economic entity. Um, the main production space is designed as a central stage um, to showcase the production as a live performance. The working stations and uh, the chimneys are coordinating with the building structure and, and skylights as the background rhythm. And the workers, we call them the cookie masters, they are dressed in um, um, bright color uniforms as the characters um, performers in, um, on stage. Their movement, um, the sound, the, the, the heat and the steam, and also the, um, the smell, the, the sweet smell from the uh, cooking um, has become the, the play, the central play and performance of this space, this building. And the cooking is running for 24 hours a day in the winter season before the Chinese New Year. So the lighting is also designed as a stage uh, setting. During the off production season, the space can also be used as a uh, village social and cultural space. Um, after the completion of this brown sugar factory, the sugar price has increased uh, four times, um, which um, has motivated new younger um, villagers to join the, the, um, this uh, production union. 
um, in the past three years, we had uh, 50 villagers returned home and 12 young villagers joined this um, production union. Tsai Jai village has the best tofu in the region. A new tofu factory is uh, programmed to improve the tofu quality uh, fitting with food certificate requirements. The new factory is located at the entrance of the village uh, following the topography and divided into six compartments um, based on the um, um, existing topography and also the production sequence um, from pre preparation room and, and grinding room, cooking and deep frying and tasting hall. So each one becomes a um, chapter, a different kind of a chapter with its um, own production um, activities and uh, performance. And parallel to this production compartments or chapters, there's a, a covered walkway for the visitors to um, observe uh, the traditional tofu making process um, as a performance tool. Um, unlike the, the, the uh, brown sugar, um, which is produced in the main space, the tofu production is rather divided into different uh, chapters based on different production sequence. And the walkway for visitors can also become a um, visitors lounge for the, um, it provides an educational program for the um, children in, in, in local schools. And this is also shared by um, local villages as a leisure space. Um, with the um, improved production space uh, quality and, and also uh, the production standards and also the um, increase of tourism um, and uh, cultural educational um, program, um, it has, uh, the factory has um, improved both the quality and the price of uh, tofu production. Um, two family, uh, two villager unions are it's established, one to operate the factory with the current family workshops. The other one to is integrating the um, farmers who grow the uh, uh, organic soya bean as the um, to, uh, supply to the um, raw material to this factory. So this factory in a way also inspire a more ecological agriculture in this village. Thank you.